Bee Kingdom is a studio that began uh, originally in about 2003, uh, 2004, and it was loosely knit from uh, myself, uh, Timothy Bellavo, Philip Van Der, and Ryan Marsh Fairweather. And uh, we were at the Alberta College of Art and Design in the Glass Studio. Uh, we began collaborating as a team and finding a lot more success in our projects just by sharing the work and um, really communicating a lot and working out ideas as a, as a group. So uh, we began doing a lot of collective work studio series in college. And uh, as we got towards the end of our, um, our time there, we teamed up with a few other students and made a group called Mecca Studios, which was very multimedia. And tried that for about a year or so uh, before we decided to refine what Bee Kingdom was and the glass took on its own kind of momentum. So uh, we got a space um, in a suburban house just about 10 minutes from ACAD and uh, fortunately we were able to renovate and do all the work we needed to create the studio from scratch and have been doing that full time since um, 2006. Bee Kingdom's work is unique because it's intensely collaborative and we came up with the idea of Bee Kingdom both as a logo and as a name because we're referring to bees and the way that they collaborate on the different things that they do. So as artists, the three of us have uh, this similar way of just collaborating constantly, sharing ideas, sharing processes, um, sharing the work. And uh, we also live and work in the same space. And I think it's rare for artists or anybody to be able to manage that much time nonstop uh, collaborating and working as a team. Within ACAD, there's a, a great spectrum of, of art styles and uh, teaching methods, and there's a lot of different ways to approach art. Um, I think it's, it's one of the most comprehensive programs because there's, there's just so much you can do, but also ACAD has a lot of uh, their programs like Art Awareness and um, shows like that where uh, students can, can do extracurricular things and really uh, try professional approaches to their practices even before they've graduated.